In this video, I'm going to show you our blubber experiment. That's the same experiment that we will be doing live in our Antarctica lesson. But in case you want to see it again, you can watch the video, you can follow along, maybe try the experiment for yourself. So you will need two small plastic bags, big enough that you can put your hand inside. You'll need some animal fat, so schmaltz, or you can also use plensenfett, uh, plant fat, you find plensenfett, it's kind of hard, or you can use butter, so some sort of fat. You need a bowl of really cold water with ice inside. It's really cold. And you will need a stopwatch to time and count the seconds. So I'm using my phone. So the first thing we're going to do in the experiment is to time how long can I put my hand into the really cold water just on its own. So I have my stopwatch, I have my bowl, and I'm going to start that now. Ready, steady, go. Oh, that's really cold. Okay, that's as much as I can do. Stop. Okay. 13.89 seconds. You know, I'm going to round up. I'm going to say that's 14 seconds. So, on your recording sheet, my hand alone in the water, 14 seconds. Maybe you're braver than me. So now we are going to be like an Arctic or an Antarctic animal. So seals, penguins, whales, um, they all have a lot of fat on their body. And we're going to learn how they use their fat, why they have so much fat on their body, why it's good for them. For humans, not so good, not so healthy to have too much fat. But if you are a walrus or an elephant seal, an orca, it's really good to have a lot of fat. So you put your fat inside one bag. Put your hand inside the other bag. And then I'm going to put my hand in the bag, inside the other bag with the fat, and squish it and squeeze it around. So I'm making like, like a glove or a mitten that's made out of fat all around my hand. Squish it and squeeze it. I want all my fingers inside the fat. Feels really nice. Very therapeutic. <laughs> okay. I think it's pretty well covered. Use it all around here. All right. Now I'm going to put this hand back into the water and time with my stopwatch how long I can put my hand inside the fat into the ice and water. Ready and go. Oh, that's not too bad. That doesn't feel bad at all. Ah, look, I was out already last time. It's really important that you don't let any water get inside the bag. If your cold water comes inside the bag, it's not going to work. So I think this video is going to get pretty long and pretty boring because my hand is fine. My hand's not cold at all. It's staying pretty warm. I'm going to keep going. Maybe I'll pause the video and I'll show you the time at the end. 
Okay, I stopped my timer. Um, it's not too cold, but it was starting to get a little bit cold just here because there was no fat here. And here at the end where, look, I don't know if you can see, but my, my finger is making a little hole in the fat. That was a little bit cold, but I probably could have stayed longer. Three minutes. Not bad. Um, I think I need to throw away my gloves and make some gloves out of fat. <laughs> Works so well. Um, so if you're recording on your recording sheets, then you can put in the table the hand inside the fat can stay in the water for more than three minutes. So have a think, why is it a really good idea for polar animals to have a lot of blubber or a lot of fat underneath their skin? I'll see you in our next lesson. Bye.